Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manna for your soul. Happy Friday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is private preparations. Oh, can I tell you, there are not many people that want to labor in obscurity. There are not many people that want to hone their craft outside of the limelight, off the big stage, all to themselves. But I'm here to tell you, it is in those private times, those times of private preparation, uh, they are lead to public victory. Oh, uh, can I tell you, I'm reminded today of a man by the name of David. Y'all know David, one of my heroes of the Bible. Well, when David was about 15 years old, uh, he was anointed to be the next king over Israel. Oh, uh, God had, a, had sent the prophet Samuel to anoint him, and, and David was anointed, and you would have thought that he, he was on a fast track to, um, to the palace to sit on the throne, but that was not the case. But that was some preparation time that was needed. So God sent him back to his old job, his job of being a shepherd boy, watching over the, the sheep out there off the beaten path with those little bit of sheep, as his brother described it. And But while he was out there, he was taking time to have private preparation for out there watching those sheep. He, he learned how to lead those that he would be in charge of. He learned how to, how, how to care for and attend for the sheep and that taught him how to care for and tend to the people that one day he was going to lead and be in charge of. He learned how to pray. He learned how to seek God. He learned how to get close to God. He learned how to encourage himself. He learned how to write songs. He learned how to sing praises unto God. He learned how to fight even because it was out there while he would be watching the sheep uh, that lions would come or bears would come and try to snatch a sheep out of the flock and David would grab a hold to that lion or bear and he would fight them and he would rescue the sheep and then he would kill that lion or bear. I'm telling you, it was in those private times that he was getting ready for public victory. As, as, as his life would, would, would go on forward, David one day found himself um, at the battleground and, and, and it, there was a giant there and that, that giant was making a mockery of God because of those private preparations. Uh, David was ready to stand up and be a bold witness for his God and, and because of those private preparations when that giant said that I challenge any, any one man of Israel to come out here and fight me unless you cowards, unless your God is afraid, afraid of me, come out and fight me. David, David because of those private preparations he was bold enough to say that I'll defend the name of the Lord my God and I will go out here to fight this to fight this Philistine giant even as a boy of 15 he was prepared because of all those private times all uh, that he had spent in preparation and don't and don't you know that he went out there to face that giant in the valley of confrontation he looked at that giant and boldly told that giant that I would I'm going to kill you I'm going to slay you in the name of the Lord my God you will not defy the, the armies of Israel. You were not to make a mockery of my God and get away with it. It was all because of those private preparations. Oh, but David wasn't finished then. Oh, because of those private preparations, David was ready to lead the armies of Israel into battle and he led them into battle because of those private preparations. The the young women of the city could sing, Saul may have killed his thousands, but David has killed his ten thousands. Why? Because David had those times of private preparation. Because of private preparation, David, David, when, when Saul turned on him, David was able to learn how to escape. David learned how to escape and live in the wilderness because of private preparations. When, when a ragtag group of men that were dysfunctional and in distress came to David, David, David turned him into a mighty army and called them his mighty men. I'm here to tell you why. Because he learned how to lead folk. He learned how to care for folk. He learned how to bring the best out of folk during those private preparations. And it was during that time of private preparation that David was ready to be king. Oh, he was made ready to be king. He learned how to be king. He learned how to give God the glory. He learned how to give God his thanks uh, for what God was about to do and what God was doing in his life. And David did become king. He did unite the kingdoms. And David went on to give God all the glory. And God gave David victory after victory. I'm here to tell you it was because of that time uh, of private preparation. The Bible tells us in, 
in Zechariah chapter 4, um, verse 10, despise not the day of the small beginnings because God rejoices to see a thing get started. God was rejoicing when David got started. He, he rejoiced when David was anointed, absolutely, but he rejoiced even more as David prepared because God knows that when you prepare, God knows what the end is going to be. God knows the work he's going to do in you. I just want to encourage somebody right now. God has got you in a place of preparation. Uh, don't despise that place. God got you in a place of, of, of getting ready. Uh, don't you despise that place. Maybe nobody's there to cheer you on. There are no hand claps. There are no attaboys going on, but you're getting ready day by day. You're getting stronger day by day. Your anointing is flowing even better day by day. Oh, you're, 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 you're getting ready to be a blessing day by day, and you're getting ready uh, to step out huh, and, to, and to step out out of that private place into that public place where God will get the glory out of your life in front of in front of eyes, in front of witnesses, in front of folk that are that that are ready to see a move of God and see the move of God in you. Oh, I, I just want to encourage you today. There is a move of God that's gonna flow through you. You're getting ready in that private place, uh, but God is gonna reward you openly. Look, you have an awesome day. You be encouraged. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't get weary in your well-doing. God's got a blessing for you. Have an awesome day. Be blessed. Peace.